In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to automatically texture any size landscape, especially very large landscapes, something that you would not want to manually paint layers on. And this is done with auto landscape material. So here I have a few large landscapes I created and I used Photoshop clouds filter with some adjustments. And I've also used terrain party to generate these height maps. And some of these height maps are huge. For example, this landscape is eight square kilometers. And a few of these are lower in size of one square kilometer. And all of these currently are untextured. And the next step would be is to texture them. Now, if I had to manually paint layers on them, it would take a very long time. And that's not something you want to do for very large terrains. And you want to automate this process by using outer landscape materials. So here I have already created outer landscape material. And all I have to do is simply apply it and assign it to the landscape. And it will be automatically textured with some of the properties, some of the parameters I've set up. And that's it. I may have to tweak a few parameters depending on which angle, which slope of the terrain I want to have a certain texture appear on. But as far as having to manually paint specific layer of a specific texture, I don't have to do that. So that's the power of auto landscape materials. So first, what is an auto landscape material? An auto landscape material is a material with a set of rules that controls which angle of the terrain a landscape texture will appear on. So when you apply that auto material onto the landscape, it textures the entire terrain automatically and it will change the texture based on the slope. I could reuse this material on any other landscape and I would just need to adjust a few parameters for the angle, for the slope, maybe change the albedo, normal map, and that's it, call it done. So what usually would have taken me days if not weeks, now would take me just a few minutes. So this allows you to focus on environment design and creation. Now there are additional controls you can add into this auto material, such as having a specific texture show up based on height, controlling edge blend between each texture, replacing textures, so you can always have variety and reuse this material on any landscape. You can have foliage added on to spawn automatically on a specific texture. And even manually paint additional textures for extra detail. So what other landscape materials allow you to do is to work smarter, not harder. And in the production environment, whether you are working in a studio or you just create environments for yourself. You never really want to manually paint large terrains. Now, it doesn't mean you should never paint manual textures again. There are times for projects where you still want to paint everything by hand. But for large open world environments with huge terrain sizes, you should take advantage of auto landscape materials. And if you do need to paint specific textures on top, you can extend the functionality of auto landscape material by including the ability to paint texture layers manually. So this will allow you to add that additional texture detail in specific areas of your environment, of the terrain. So once I figured out how to create and how to use auto landscape materials, it changed everything for me. I no longer create untextured landscapes like before where I would just stop after I generated a height map because I just didn't want to spend time manually painting these textures. Now I just have a auto landscape material. I assign it to the terrain, maybe swap normal maps, albedo, and define a few parameters. And then I have a good start to go from so I can work on my environment rather than trying to waste time manually painting. Now, if you want to learn how to create your own auto landscape materials from the very beginning, following every step in the process, I've created a tutorial course that will show you how to do that. It is UE4 Auto Landscape Material, the complete guide to creating and using procedural auto landscape materials. In this course, you will learn how to create auto landscape material based on terrain slope, 
how to create auto material based on height, how to create two and three texture auto materials, how to control edge blends between textures so you can have a soft blend or a hard blend, how to set up ability to replace textures so you can reuse this auto material on any landscape, on any terrain, and just swap textures. How to spawn foliage automatically on a specific texture. So this will allow you to create huge worlds with auto spawn foliage very quickly. And how to manually paint additional texture layers on top of your auto landscape material for additional detail. You can now download this complete course with all the example files and start texturing your landscapes quickly, effortlessly, and automatically. You'll find the link to download this course in the description box below this video or within the blog post. So stop manually painting your large terrains. Create your auto landscape material and begin doing this automatically so you can spend more time on actually creating your environments.